The other day I did a piece where I took this image of a burnt out gas station and turned it to night and added some cars and some dudes and then added a little camera move to make it feel 3D. But of course it was just an image to begin with, so I had to create the 3D using Blender. I'm not gonna go into all the details. This is actually just about one little aspect of that process that I wanted to share. First step is we use FSpy to figure out where the camera is in relation to the photo. Then you can take that FSpy file and put it into Blender. And then it's just a matter of creating the geometry. So here I'm just creating the building itself plus one of the pillars in front. It's just so we can see what I'm talking about here. So what you'll see is now I have the photograph mapped onto the building and it's mapped onto the pillar as well. And as long as they're lined up just the same way they were in the photograph, they look great. It looks perfect. It looks like what it did before. But as soon as you move the camera enough so that you're able to see what's behind the pillar, you can see that, of course, it's just the same pixels as the pillar because the photograph, you know, doesn't, it doesn't go around corners. So that's the point of this video is how do we deal with that? And so what I found is that we now have all these AI art tools that are great for filling in details. You can use what's called in painting, where you erase part of the picture and then ask the AI to generate something in that place. And it does a great job of blending it in so it looks like it fits with the rest of the world. So the tool that I've been using is called Leonardo. There are other ones that are similar to this, but this is the one I'm using. So basically I brought the original photograph and then what I'm going to do is paint out the pillar because we want to see what might be behind it. You want to paint out a little extra. You don't want to let it have any bits of the pillar there. This little box is the area that it's going to generate within, and it's not going to modify any of the pixels that are already there. It's only going to fill in the area that you've erased. So we need to tell it what it should fill. It's not just going to assume. So here I'm saying graffiti on building, and then we have it render. This tool gives us a set of different options. So you can see there's one to four different options. And so you can flip through them and see which one you like the best. I think I like number one. So we hit accept. Uh, and there you go, we got our new image. So we download it. And then back in Blender, we can duplicate this material because we want one that has the pillar still there, which we'll use for the pillar and then one that's this new guy. And so we open that up and add it in, and voila, there it is. So now you've made up what was behind the pillar. For this piece, I ended up using that technique in a variety of spots because there's a lot of stuff in front of other things. I'm pretty happy with the results.